What is up guys, this is Koshe and thank you for watching. Today I'm going to bring you guys a very interesting video. Uh, as you will see both my heroes are upgrading and you will notice that I am not in my own clan which is called Angelic Descent if you don't know. And something very interesting happened. So once I started my heroes, you know, I opted out of war and you know I sort of decided to maybe go look for some greener pastures as, as they put it and very interestingly I ended up in a clan that found a war with my old clan look at this can you believe it what is the chances of that joining a clan that actually went to war with the clan that I just left so this is very interesting you'll see angelic descent um, he's got this all black badge for the prayer for Paris at the moment then it says there we are a family-like clan, always friendly, no swearing, rules, be active, use both attacks in war, donate thousand for all the COVID. Uh, now, so I mean, I looked at some of these guys. You know, this is quite a tough war. If I if I look at my team, they've got a level hundred and twelve and a level hundred and a hundred and twelve again. But to me, it looks like quite a tough war. If I look at my new clan, Yeni Azerbaijan. So yeah, this is very interesting. I don't know if you guys, you know, can understand the 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 weirdness of this concept. Now they have just now with the hour left started to put some troops in the in the CCs. So at least that's a good start because up to now there weren't any troops in the CCs. But yeah, so this is very interesting. You know, I've joined this clan and then they matched up with Angelic Descent. Well, that is so strange, but. They've promoted me to elder in the meanwhile, because I'm opted out. Um, you know they couldn't trace where I was coming from. I assume, and I know there's a big debate about this. You know, some people will say this is me cheating. You know, joining the enemy clan. Others will say, well, you know, if they let me in, you know, my they, yeah, if they let me in, it's up to them. You know, it's it's their own fault. So. I've been helping them a lot, I've been donating and I've actually asked them, <laughs> I spoke to um, clan members of Angelic Descent yesterday and I told them, listen, I'm going to donate troops for them to attack you guys with. <laughs> and the guy just laughed at me because um, their top player in war, he's got the same level golems as I. Let's have a look here, this is their leader. Uh, he's got level 4 golems, level 5 hogs, you know, he's got level 6 balloons. So he can pretty much donate the same things as I, except I can donate one level higher ho um, hounds and one level higher Valkyries. But I don't think I will be asked to donate that. So, anyway, this is just a very interesting, you know, little situation I found myself in. So, um, I've never done something like this, and I would like it if you guys can sort of. You know, tell me what you think about this and whether you think I am really cheating or whether, you know, it's not my f my fault that they let me in. So, so yeah, I'm open for a discussion. I just thought this would be really funny. Um, so, yeah, I'm in this enemy clan at the moment. They didn't notice that I'm a spy, if I can put it that way. And they let me in. They've made me elder in the meanwhile. They've kicked out so many other people. But I don't understand anything these guys are saying. Like, they just keep on speaking Russian and... French, I don't know, or I think they're from Kazakhstan, this clan. They just, I've asked them like 20 times to just speak English, but they don't. Let me see. Yeah, they just do lots of requests and then I didn't understand. So I've been asking, can I drop wizards? Can I drop wizards? And no one's been replying. So yesterday the leader has done some cleanup, as you can see in the clan here. Um, I can't go any further back, but before that he promoted me to elder which is strange, it's like inviting the wolf in sheep's clothes into your den and then making him one of the elders of your of your den, so it's very interesting. But you know, they look like a nice bunch of guys and um, I'm probably going to stay here for the whole war. I'm waiting for war to start and I'm going to actually help donate so that they can stand their best chance against angelic descent. The funny thing was yesterday, I did mention, I'm like, yeah, I see you guys have a clan war. They were like, yo, can't you help donate to the war castle? So I'm like, one guy actually spoke English after I'd asked him to. 
And I told him, well, I can't donate if I'm not in the war. And then he's like, Yo, are you going to stay for the next war? And I told him, well, my heroes are still four days away. So, But, yeah, they have no idea that I'm actually from the other clan. What my, As soon as I ended up in the clan, um, the, the problem was the description there of Angelic Descent said, you know, our YouTube channel is clashing with Tashi. So, fortunately, I went on my on the aftercare account, which is the Shiashi account here, and I quickly mentioned to the guys, please take away on the clan description the um, the description saying that I, you know, clashing with Tashi is the YouTube channel for this clan. So, so the enemy clan never noticed that in the description after the war matchup happened. So. So anyway, this is quite interesting. For the first time, I can. Now this is very interesting to me. For the first time, I can scout our own bases without seeing the traps, and this was quite a refreshing change. Like I can look at Quinton's base without exposing to you guys where all the bombs and traps are. So the base actually looked quite intimidating to me, because if I, I don't know, if you see it with traps and everything, it just looks so much different. So anyway, I've, I'm looking at at the level of the bases that my new clan has to attack and I sort of think you know they are a little bit outmatched um, they have high level high level players but most of their bases are very um, they've got some low heroes and they don't have max defenses so I think only one player has max defenses so yeah this is now some of our clan members bases um, I shouldn't actually <laughs> show you all of them but Fortunately for me, I was able to um, sort of see all the enemy clan bases. So if I want, I can go and tell my old or my main clan, you know, how they can attack and stuff like that. But you can just see from these bases that there's no place for double giant bombs. It's not even necessary for me to to show them that. Um, obviously here there's a few spaces, but there's only on the bottom side of this base where the double giant bombs can be. So if we were able to scout their bases or not, we probably would have done the same attacks. This one, also, there's almost no space for double giant bombs. The only place is right here, in one of those little gaps. But that could have been spotted if, if, um, if you are just scouting the base without seeing where all the traps are. So yeah, guys, this is very interesting. It's the first time in my life that I tried something like this. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. What do you guys think? That is just my question that I put out there. Like as I as I said, um, I can take this even further. What I can do is I can go and watch the previous war log and see how the enemy clan were three starred, you know, and then sort of tell my clan mates how they can three star the enemy clan bases. So you know, there's this is actually so risky. Now, I'm, the moment I did this, I immediately thought. You know what are the chances of my clan in war sometimes letting in a spy? You know I think we've done that a few times. I think enemy clan because I just saw now it's so easy to spy because if you look at let's go to the normal war. If I go to angelic descent, you know you only see the players that are in the war. There's no way that you can see everyone else in the clan. Now if you look there, there's 28 members, so there's 18 possible spies in the enemy clan so the thing that I think you the only way you can stop spies from coming into your clan is if you go to the person's profile I think if you say view clan it still takes you back there so you can't do that you have to go to his profile then you have to say visit and then you have to go information player clan then you actually see everyone else that's in the clan and then you have to memorize all these names or write down all the ones that is not in the war and then make sure that they don't get accepted you know so this is quite I think the only way you can do it so the interesting thing here is that our clan still says invite only angelic descent so obviously most clans change it to closed during war and I think that is the correct thing to do but you know if you are doing a war twice a week you know sometimes you forget to just change everything back to close, to invite only to close. So, so yeah, this is just the interesting thing that I wanted to share with you guys the first time that I do this. 
So, yes, let me know what you think. Do you think I am cheating by scouting the enemy players after they let me in and made me elder? Um, or do I sort of redeem myself when I help donate to them when they attack my clan, which is Angelic Descent? Uh, I'm probably going to upload this video after the war started so they won't know any of this They'll probably kick me out and they won't know that I've got a YouTube channel until I tell them right before I leave So this is going to be quite funny. Listen to you guys at Yeni Azerbaijan if you guys watch this video um, Thank you for being a good sport and you know Yo, I, this is the first time I did this. I just thought maybe you guys don't want to let people in during war and all the best to your guys' clan, you're a level 6 clan, so I hope you guys continue to do well. So anyway guys, that is just my video. Um, let me know what you guys think. This is sort of, I think what I can do is call this a, this is a clan visit, you know, what do you call it? I think lots of these YouTubers, they visit different clans, and then they do, you know, opinions and watch their war log. So maybe I must just pretend that this is one of those videos. Yeah, so this is... The last few wars, I see they've been matched up with a few level 7 clans. So there was a few tough ones by the looks of things. But yeah, they have won all together. Let's have a look. All together they've won 34 wars. So, so yeah, clan location, Azerbaijan. I've never heard of that place. I must definitely work on my geographical skills. But anyway, as you can see here, I am donating helping them trying to get to level 120 so so yes thank you guys for checking out this video and if any of the clan members from Yeni Azerbaijan can watch this video I hope you guys um, aren't that mad but please comment at the bottom let me know what you think as well of me spying on your clan without you guys knowing I'm sorry about that but yeah that is the game and at least we are not modding I don't know if yeah, any of the guys mod, but in our clan, I know, you know, I always say we don't want any guys to mod. Now, I don't see this as, as cheating in my opinion, but what do you guys think? Let me know. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and all the best to both clans. I am just a spectator. I can't influence this clan, this war at all. So, in an hour and 11 minutes, the attacking will begin, and I will bring you guys the result of this war and some of the attacks in my next video. So, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.